All right, so let's talk about soft light. Why do we want it as videographers, filmmakers, how to achieve it, the equipment I'm using, and yeah, we're just gonna break all these things down. I'm gonna show you all how I achieve this look you're getting using double diffusion from a single source. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So as I said, I'm using a single light source from my left, which is camera right. It's gonna be an Aperture 600D in a Glow Soft box, which is comparable to the Light Dome from Aperture. Um, I just found it a little cheaper on Amazon, so I went with that. For the second layer of diffusion, I'm using bleach muslin that I got from like a home goods store. I think they just cut it up for me. It was like six or seven dollars. You can also buy diffusion from Amazon uh, in various sizes. I think from the cheapest you can get is like 10 to 12 dollars. So you kind of just want to use any kind of diffusion setup like this for your second layer. Um, you can use a shower curtain. I've seen that done and I've actually used pillow sheets and, uh, and pillow cases as well. So not something I want to bring to a client shoot, but you know, you can use those if you're at home creating content for socials or things like that. The second light I'm using is just to make this look as nice as possible. It's a Nanlite tube that I have set up behind me. Um, using it as a rim light, using it as a hair light. And uh, yeah, I'm actually splashing that background just to give some separation. All right, so let's get into why soft light is important. Why is it desirable? Why do we go for this look? So soft light, unlike hard light, is gonna make your client, gonna make yourself, whoever's in front of the camera, that talking head, it's gonna roll off much easier than hard light and it's gonna hide a lot of those blemishes, um, a lot of those dark spots, just things that we don't wanna see on our faces, on camera. The hard light is gonna create those shadows, um, which isn't always a bad thing. Like say you're doing something where you wanna have a little more drama to the shot, you wanna make it a little more moody. Say you're actually looking for high contrast, and you want it to be black and white uh, in post. Hard light will actually work out really well. But again, that soft roll off, that Rembrandt lighting right here, you see that triangle under my right eye. We're, that's what we're going for. I think it's a very flattering way to light your subject. All right, so let's dig into the equipment that I'm using to achieve this look. The camera I'm shooting on is a Sony FX3. The lens is a G Master 24 to 70. So a pro tip for getting shots like this, especially interviews, you don't want to use a focal length under 35. Uh, anything that wide, the 16, 20, 24, you're going to start to see distortions and warping to the face, and it's not going to seem as natural as it will look if you were using a portrait lens or a 50 or a 35 you can kind of get away with, but I would really try to get that 50 if you can, if you have the space in a room while creating that depth you want, things of that nature, 50 lens or uh, setting your zoom to 50 will work out really well. Some of the cons, right? You need the space in your room in order to achieve this look. We don't have all the space in the world to get this shot, but I have everything just out of frame so that I can achieve the look that I was looking for. The second layer of diffusion, which is gonna be the bleach muslin, that is now my source. I tried to get this as close as possible because the closer this is, the softer and the better it'll wrap on your subject. So that's why I have this super close and I have the 600D a little push back away because this is now my primary source of light. So I guess another con um, you could say for using this kind of setup is you're going to need a light that pushes out a lot of power. Uh, I've seen people actually get away with using the um, Aperture 300D. Um, I've actually used the Aperture 300D in certain situations uh, with a double diffuse source. Right now I'm using a 600D at 100%. If I want to introduce more light into the shot, I can take off my ND filter, I can bump up my ISO, um, and that's pretty much all the changes I'll be able to make. But I will be able to turn down the power or the intensity of this light uh, and get that look. So what's what am I saying? What's my point? If you don't have a light this powerful, it's all good. Kind of adjust your settings to the light that you're using. And yeah, just make it work for, um, for your setup and, and whatever you have. Okay, so another thing I like to use, depending on the shoot and the look I'm going for, is uh, negative fill and or um, another white source on the opposite side of me. If you use a negative fill, it can give more drama, right? More darkness on this side, on the shadow side, and uh, kind of eat up all the light coming from this side. Or you can use um, a silver source or again, another white source, more unbleached muslin, uh, another level of diffusion, something that's white where the light can just bounce off and fill another side. Here's some examples of that. And it's another look, another tool you can use uh, depending on what you're going for. 
All right, so I wanna show you all how I achieve this look um, in another setup. Single source, double diffuse, let's get into that. And uh, again, if you're here, thank you so much for watching this far, I hope it's helpful. Definitely leave a like, comment, and subscribe, please. It'll really help out the channel. And uh, yeah, let's get into that, that next shot. All right, so now we're gonna use the same method, one source light, double diffusion, uh, we're gonna have a, like maybe a practical and some lights in the background to kind of emulate some things. But we're gonna do the same thing for a nighttime interior. For this shot, I started off with the wide. I'm walking into frame, a little post punch in, and I'm playing a PlayStation. Who doesn't play PlayStation? As you can probably tell, especially knowing how I lit uh, the first part of the video, we're using single source, double diffusion. I swapped out the Aperture 600D for the Aperture 300 by color just so I can make sure I have warm tones on the inside, blue on the outside to kind of emulate the moon and maybe a street light. And yeah, give it some good color contrast. And that's what we we're working with. And I think it came out pretty cool. It was really quick. I didn't want to do anything too crazy, pretty much a one man team over here. But I just wanted to show you all how we can utilize the same exact setup for talking head shots, interview shots, for even maybe something that's again, like a short or something for socials or you know, I don't know, just getting creative and wanting to get a soft light on your source. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, like, comment, subscribe. If you want more breakdowns, maybe I can get more in depth with the, the next shots, more lights, uh, more cinematic, you know. But yeah, anyway, man, I appreciate y'all. And until next time, drink some water. I'll let y'all.